You uh, wanted to see me, Dad? Yes, yeah, so and have a seat for a moment. Your mother and I will be with you. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Chips would be nice. Chips. Diane, some chips, please. Thank you. <laughs> the ones with the ruffles was nice. Uh, what, what are we doing? Jeremy, can I call you Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy, uh, you've been with our family for 14 years now. <laughs> Don't you know how old I am? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, Jeremy, it seems like this, this isn't really working out. <laughs> you aren't, Jeremy. Yeah, there's no delicate way of putting this. Uh, Jeremy, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Oh, so nice to keep this curse away, Jeremy. We've just decided to go with uh, someone else for the position. Right. What position? The liar son, of course. Uh, well, you can't just do that. I am your son. You can't just replace him. I'm afraid we can, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's called outsourcing. Outsourcing. <laughs> Jeremy, outsourcing is a wonderful, magical process where we take jobs from Americans who are slow and lazy and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and we, uh, we give them to someone from another country who's, well, more qualified. Kind of like that Cinderella bullshit we taught you when you were little. <laughs> I didn't think you thought that was real. All right, yeah, I, uh, I know what outsourcing is in the business world, but you can't just outsource your own family. Jerry, let me show you something. Jerry, this is Ron Gash. <laughs> he's, uh, he's 10 yes. years old. He lives in rural Tibet. Uh, he doesn't have a penny to his name. He's a double orphan. A double orphan. Yeah, his foster parents are <laughs> Despite all that, he still knows more trigonometry than you do. <laughs> he only costs us 17 cents a day. How much was that PS3 you wanted for Christmas? Oh, this is insane. You can't be serious. I'm afraid we've already made our decision, Jeremy. Uh, we'd like to keep both of you, but unfortunately, we don't really feel like it. I'm not too bad about it. You've really didn't stand a chance against his resume. <laughs> this can't be happening. So uh, please have your things cleared out of your room by the end of the day, and uh, best of luck whatever family you choose to move on to. We're really sorry to lose you. There are a lot of families out there. I'm sure you'll be back on your feet in no time. <laughs> okay, who do we have up next? Um, oh, this is Anne from the second floor. Oh, okay, great. Anne, thanks for coming out today. We two losers do. <laughs> Uh, and I'm looking at my records here, and according to my records, you wrecked the Lexus last month, and you also gave away your virginity to one Scott Jergensen <laughs> in the back of a movie theater playing Happy Feet. <laughs> awesome movie, 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 movie. Is this information accurate? Dad, what the hell? And don't take it personally, verification purposes. I've been dating Scott for two years. We just spent Thanksgiving with us. Children's Army. He's a, 
He's racked up 23 kills just this year. <laughs> and, uh, four of them were in hand-to-hand -hand melee combat. <laughs> He's never had any formal education, so he doesn't actually know what patriotism is, but uh, he sure as hell kills people. <laughs> uh, well, will we be hearing oh. any more reports from your teacher about you slouching during the Pledge of Allegiance? No, ma'am. I'd like to believe you, but I'd much rather tell the girls at the Bridge Club I have a son fighting to overthrow Western capitalist imperialism. I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 